and welcome back to Doctor Who Makeup. Today's video is going to be another review slash first impression video. I've been waiting for almost a week and a half to film this review for you. A, because I haven't had time, and B, just because when I get home from school, I'm always so tired. So that's partially why there's no tutorials coming, just because school is taking everything out of me right now. But I promise that soon my school activities will die down as I get some of the projects underway, and I will be back to making tutorials for you. So again, as you can probably tell from the title and obviously the thumbnail, which is probably why you clicked on this video, I am going to be reviewing the new Miley Cyrus Viva Glam collection for Mac. So MAC has released two different Miley Cyrus collections. The first one, which these are just the boxes, which of course I had to buy it. I bought it the day it came out because I just, I needed them so much. And then this past, I think it was September, they released the second round, which is these boxes right here. The boxes are pretty much the same. The first one is on top, the second one is on the bottom. The only difference between the two is in the lipsticks. The first one is an amplified cream lipstick and the second one is a matte lipstick. Now, if you, tend to like expensive lipsticks, I personally do not have that preference, I like all drugstore lipsticks, then you probably know the difference between these two. I myself being a MAC newbie, other than owning a few of their eyeshadows and now both sets of the Miley Cyrus lipstick lip gloss collections, I don't really know what the difference is. One is obviously matte and one is obviously shiny. The pink one, which is the first one, is really shiny and it really stains my lips when I wear it, so I try not to wear it as often just because I don't want to be wearing the same color for three days in a row. I have not swatched the lipstick from the second collection, but I have used the lip gloss just because I figured it was such a pretty color and I really wanted to try it on. It applies quite sheer, so I figure I'm gonna start the review off with the lip gloss, which technically is called a lip gloss. So here is what the lip gloss looks like up close. It is a red-orange lip gloss color that's quite sheer with a lot of tiny, small pieces of silver glitter. It is super fine milled glitter, so you're not gonna get that glittery feeling on your lips, but you will get the high shine look of the lip gloss glass, sorry, as well as the shine of the glitter on your lips. To compare the two lip glosses from both of Miley Cyrus and Viva Glam collections, to compare the two lip glosses, as you can see, the first Viva Glam is on top and it is very bright pink. It has a lot of silver, blue, and pink glitter in this lip gloss. And I remember reading an article saying Miley Cyrus made the lip gloss with MAC in order to look like a disco ball exploded on your lips. And that is exactly the effect that you get from this lip gloss. The newest lip gloss isn't as shimmery as the first one. It definitely has the glitter in there and it's more of a subdued lip gloss. Whereas the first one you could put on one coat and it was pretty much fine. It still had a sheer look to it. This newer one, it takes two or three coats to really build up that red color. Overall, I really like these lip glosses. However, they are really sticky. So if you're in for a sticky lip gloss, definitely check them out. But if sticky lip glosses aren't your thing, I wouldn't recommend them. However, they are Miley Cyrus's lip glosses and that is exactly why I bought them. The one thing I did want to point out before we move on to lipstick is that the wording or the signature is moved from the original placement. So you can see the red heart on the pink lip gloss is kind of covering up the two S's in the word glass. And on the new one, it is way up above where the C was. And now it is on to the lipstick. This is one of the ones that I really wanted from the set because it is my favorite type of red. It is a red lipstick with an orange undertone. Let's look at this baby. So as you can see, it's in its normal packaging. It looks like a black bullet with the red rim and the red MAC letters. So as you can see, it has Miley Cyrus's signature, the same that is on the lip glosses as well as all of the packaging. This is what it looks like, da da. So you get three grams of lipstick, at least that is what the packaging says, and it's quite a lot, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna become part of their main line, at least you can purchase it. I'm hoping, I don't really know these facts, don't quote me on this. So let's swatch this lipstick. So now, as you've all probably been waiting to see, I'm gonna be swatching both the lipstick and the lip gloss, the newest ones, of course, on my lips and pairing them together to see what they look like. I have not worn the lipstick on my lips yet, so let's do it for the first time together. You can definitely see that it is matte. And now, the lip glass. And there we go, taking away all that mattification that came with the lipstick by reapplying all of the shininess with the lip gloss. 
So here we have the original Miley Cyrus Viva Glam lipstick. It is a bright Barbie pink. It, it's super bright, even more Barbie pink than the lip gloss. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review and first impression. I'm not sure if they're available in the stores for that long, so go pick it up while you can and support the Viva Glam campaign, which raises money for HIV and AIDS funding. I think all the proceeds from these lip glosses and lipsticks go to AIDS and HIV funding which is amazing. So definitely worth it. Thank you for watching and I will see you. Hopefully my next video will be a tutorial. I will get that up as soon as I can. So stay tuned for that. Thank you and I will see you then. Bye. I'm just the worst at swatches. I'm so sorry. <laughs>